today has been really great. We have talked to so many interesting people that I'm to totally honestly, I'm totally filled up in my head. But that doesn't mean that I don't want to talk to our last guest of today, which is George from Inketronic in Austria. George, uh, you didn't think this machine could ever sell, right? Yeah, basically, these are developments we have done in our own labs, yeah? because when you starting a new machine project. It always starts with evaluating the chemistry, choosing the right print heads, and then you have to make this package perform. And for this, we built this um, test bench. Yeah? And we have a very versatile ink supply system here. We can install and fire all kinds of print heads. We have a drop watching unit. We have a print table. And in this combination, you can analyze really the substrates you have to print on and find the right chemical and jetting parameters to start thinking on your final project. Yeah? And see, it was actually very unfair to start with this because you actually do finish products, right? So this yeah. was just because yeah. I couldn't help it uh, before you said to me that, yeah, uh, we didn't think it, it was something we could sell, but there's an interest for this because I think yeah, the we, interest for inkjet is growing these years, right? Interest is growing and basically all inkjet projects starting with testing. Yeah. And we have seen that our test bench has a lot of advantages compared to other systems in the market. In the meantime, we are selling this not on a daily basis, but um, <laughs> from time targeting to time, there, yeah. there are 10 systems a year. Okay. And it's an interesting but, niche for us. I mean, yeah. basically, when you sell something like this, it keeps your own development costs for the next generation down, right? Yes. Yeah. But the most interesting for us is that in this, with this test bench, we're getting in touch with customers. They are intending to develop a machine. Yeah? Sometimes you, so, you get the jobs anyway. or Exactly. Yeah. And we are involved in an early stage mm -hmm. and we know what the customer is intending to do. And when they're happy with our system, they continue talking with us. And otherwise, we would never get in touch with them for offering them the final machine solution. Mm -hmm. yeah? Fantastic. So um, that was a little story about the test bedding right here. But let's uh, move a little bit to what is it that Inketronic does. So we designing and building specialized equipment for digital printing on industrial products. Yeah? So it can be profiles in PVC for different applications, can be window frames, can be construction materials. We printing on um, rotative symmetric objects. We have customers that decorating wounds with our machine. We are in the glass packaging decoration where we can print on um, convex and concave shaped objects. Then we have projects running where we're printing on wood um, for different applications. We developed in partnership a wood primer, a wood protection layer. And on this base, we can build up uh, decoration on all kinds of wood products. So would you say that, because I mean, the, 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 the machines that you talk about now, it's not like one machine that can do all the things. You, you make a machine per the need of your customers, basically. Exactly. Yeah. And I couldn't help thinking about when you talk about the round or the concave uh, uh, object, it, it, doesn't it require the print heads to move uh, around or can no. you just print the... Uh... Um, so, no, I'm doing um, digital printing since meantime 26 years. Yeah? And I'm coming from the engineering side, and I was never very long in some um, technology um, so areas. So we were not influenced but by how I do it. Digital printing catched me 100% because it's a constant challenging um, technology, yeah? and we love these challenges. So we like to go in difficult projects and we always find and this was one of them or yes <laughs> I could imagine yeah. starting printing on concave and convex shapes you have to move the print heads yeah. always in a perfect position to the um, surface and this needs a lot of software development it needs a high precision mechanical um, moving motion system yeah so it's this kind of project we love to do and to develop. And what I, one of the things I can't help think about is that when, when, you, when you say that you come from an engineering background and you say that you love challenges, can you sometimes be carried away that, that the solutions are technically innovative but maybe not so 
profitable in the, when when you look at the day of uh, end of the day because you basically also see the challenge as something that is yeah. something that drives you to the next step. Or yeah, this is always a little bit um, the difference when the head of a company is an engineer or an uh, <laughs> an uh, sales orientated or commercial orientated mm. person. Yeah, and we, I as an engineer. Mm. I have my satisfaction when the machines are performing, but the money on the bank is not what drives me. Yeah. No, no. So no, no. But uh, as long as the, as the balance over time is yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, and I mean, since be, you've been so, in 26 so, years, yeah. you probably have. Yeah, we a are coming. That, yeah, we yeah. are coming good along. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but um, I'm more open for the challenges than for the profits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, when now we're here with the Psycho Open Weeks uh, 22 uh, event here, so. When you get here, do you get new customers, or you mainly use it to showcase your thing, or is it to learn and network, or what, why are you here? Yeah, customers are always an issue for us, yeah, mm. because we are we are not doing any marketing, and it's also difficult to do marketing. Mm. And yeah, because are, it's a very specific segment. Yeah. You. When we're building specialized machines, yeah. Yeah, the customer is happy closing the doors, and no one is seeing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So for us, this test bench yeah. equipment, this is, is something... That is the mass production you have, right? <laughs> and we are happy to present it here, mm. because here, people coming here, they're all interested in mm. developing something from the inside, from the, mm. from the um, technology, print technology side. Mm. So let's talk a little bit about it then. What, what is it that makes this uh, test bedding special? Is this set yeah. up here? Yeah, because you said it was a little special for compared to some of the others, yeah. right? Yeah, this is something... Um, we like to work productive, yeah? And when you have to change inks, this is normally a very messy process, yeah? And also time consuming, yeah? And this system here, you can fill the ink system automatically. Mm -hmm. From the you can, bottles? Yes, okay, from yeah. the bottles. Then you can drain it, mm -hmm. and you ah. can decide whether you drain it back in the ink or whether you drain it in the waste, and then you move it down, you take the ink out, you put a cleaning solvent in, you move it up, and then you can go in the software, and then you program, I want to fill the system once, circulate it five minutes, um, purge the head, and then drain it back in the waste, fill it once more, and, and you're going away, and after one hour, the printhead is clean, the ink system is clean, you take the waste out, go in with the new ink, start fill, and go ahead, mm, um, testing. Yeah. Yeah? And before, we were always with, you know, with gloves. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was always messy. Yeah, no one yeah. liked to work with it. Yeah. Yeah? And now, it's, it's fun working yeah. with yeah. the system. Yeah? Yeah. And, um, and then you have like the camera system from Mitsuo. Yeah. That is basically to uh, monitor the, the, the quality of the, of the print. Or... Because uh, when you develop machines, uh, do you buy inks from a manufacturer or you develop that yourself or what? Uh... No, we are not developing the inks, yeah, but we are testing the solutions. Oh, okay. And sometimes we have 10 different products. So that means, to just to understand you, so that means that, okay, let's say I'm a customer, I go to, uh, to, uh, to your company mm -hmm. and then I want to have something and then you find the right uh, ink uh, printhead and the right ink for that application, and then you start testing whether it has the, exactly. the, 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 the properties you need, basically, right? Exactly, yeah. Mm -hmm. and for example, here with our ink supply system, now you have a very clear view where you see the settings applied in the moment. Yeah, it's, it's is this the, the two here or no? No, this no, is no. here. No, that's the okay. ink supply yeah. system. You can see you um, the flow rates. The system is in recirculation modes. So just to understand it, so that basically means that there is a constant flow in the in that chamber uh, until it's actually jetted or. Yeah, this print head there, the Seiko print head, this um, 1536. Mm -hmm. This is a print head with a recirculation yeah. ink system. Okay, so, so that is when it comes is, down, it goes going up in, yeah. through the head and out. Yeah. And this um, concept has uh, several advantages, mm -hmm. especially for industrial mm -hmm. productions. And it's more tricky to supply the ink to such a print head, but the system gives you all the possibilities to adjust it to Test it, and then with the drop watcher, you can analyze the performance mm. of the fluid um, jetted out of the head and uh, adjust the waveform. So, and afterwards, you, you, know, you can move it in the print position. Yeah, you move it only here to the side. Oh, yeah, so yeah. you just move it there. Okay. Yeah, then you go in the print position and you make a test print and can directly see how the inks are performing on the substrate and then go ahead and making the 
um, let's say, um, adhesion test mostly on the substrate or see the yeah. um, print quality, the ink flow characteristic. Yeah. Yeah. I can't help but uh, think about when I see the software on your computer, when you communicate uh, with the computer to the, to the machine, um, is, it that, is that to the controller electronics or can you also uh, write directly and communicate directly with the printer? Communicate with the print act via the meteor electronics. Okay, so, yeah. that, so that is the electronic is the bridging yes, to the yes, printer. So yes. they have like, I don't know if they use the terms of APIs, but similar to the APIs, they basically have that kind of uh, communication to the printers. Okay, so, so we, that means that if you have the meteor thing here, and you had another print head that is also compliant to the meteor, then you can write the same software to uh, m numerous more printers. Less, more, more or less. less. Okay. Yeah. So, so, so each print head is a little bit different, okay. yeah? Yeah. but they mostly have very similar input, what they needed to perform, and also some output signals, and we can um, communicate and mm. monitor this. Yes. If you look at, at a setup like this, and also the machines that you build for customers, uh, where, where are the bottlenecks, in your opinion? Is it the print head, is it the controller, is it the inks, or what, where, where do you see that? We've seen very often that ink supply, ink delivery system is the most challenging aspect. Yeah? And that is why the, the, the recirculation is good, because you have a constant flow, right? Or yeah, it's good, but it's also not so easy to design ah. and um, to get the performance you need. Yeah? Is that speed-wise so, or, or, or flow-wise, you mean, when you say you don't get the performance you need? Um, you talking, we are talking about very little pressure differences. Mm. Yeah? So the ink delivery system must be extremely precise and with very little fluctuations. Mm. And this is a this is a tricky. Okay, so thing. so the so the, the the difference from the mini max basically when it delivers you is basically is is a little bit it requires a little bit more control and and uh, the 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 deltas cannot be too high basically. No, they yeah. must be extremely yeah. tiny. Yeah, and um, we have seen that for most companies this is the most challenging part in the development. Yeah, and they are happy to get their support. Yeah. To and, and with your speciality in your company, you have a lot of years of experience. And, and I, I take that when you do um, one-off production, it, it takes a lot of time to do the testing and the planning of the, of the equipment and to be sure that you have a lot of knowledge how to actually monitor the systems before you start producing them, right? Yeah. yeah. That must be fun work. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, yeah. This yeah. is the reason um, is that I'm... You get up every morning, for example. Yeah, right? not yeah, every yeah. morning. Yeah, that yeah. I'm going also to bed every <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And our systems are performing as the most important. Yeah? yeah. And so then we are open and free to go in new developments. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, are you working a lot with Seiko, or? Yes, um, not in the past, but we're starting to okay. use the Seiko heads, okay. and we are happy because they are very um, stable in operation and not as sensible on, let's say, um, in the ink supply fluctuations. Yeah, so on the, on the test over there, even that if you, uh, if you close the ink supply for a second, it just takes like a few seconds and it's back online. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. 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 So it's a very reliable print head yeah. and we are also not the ones they, they're looking for the highest resolution. Mm because we don't see advantages in 1200 DPI print technology. For us, this is much more hassle than advantages, yeah? Yeah, and because then, you have to deliver much more data, right? No, the data is not the problem, but okay. the system is getting so sensible. You're talking about um, tiny drops from yeah. two, three picoliter yeah, and silly yeah, yeah. nozzle holes. Yeah, yeah. And the stuff is flying everywhere, yeah, but yeah. not where you want it yeah. on the substrate. Yeah? So That's a kind of a problem, right? You need a decent <laughs> mass to throw a drop there where you want it, yeah? exactly. to the position where you want it. And this is not, no, we don't go in the, in the 1200 at, DPI. At least things. not now, because you said that you always love challenges, so who knows? No, right? but no. I know also where our limits okay. yeah? And this, I say, okay, thank you. Um, let it do by us, yeah? Because Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah. Okay.